In this video, we'll be demonstrating the MyWay I-11000. This scale is pretty impressive. The scale offers 11,000 grams by a tenth of a gram readability. Impressive in regards to the price. Uh, it's an amazing price, but we highly recommend if you decide to buy this scale that you absolutely purchase the, op the optional calibration weights. Um, we've had this scale plugged in for about 30 minutes and the scale reads zero, 00 and if we were to throw on some calibration weights you'll see 2,000 grams is showing up as 2,003 grams so that's off by 30 divisions. Another 2,000 grams is showing up as 4,006 so that's off by now 60 divisions. So we'll throw on another 2,000 grams And so now we read 6,009. So basically we're off 9 grams or 90 divisions. So it seems like every 2,000 grams we're off by 30 divisions or 3 grams. So here's another 2 kilograms. And so now we're at 8,011.9. So that's almost 120 divisions or 12 grams. So... The scale seems to be very linear. The problem is it's not very accurate. So let's uh, do a calibration. Now, one thing on the calibration, the weights are optional and they are expensive. You do need 10 kilograms to calibrate the scale. And you also need to put these calibration weights on the scale pretty quick. And I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to have to have... Uh, 10 kilograms of weight and to get into the cal mode you simply press the cal button and the scale will read dashes and then show you need 10,000 grams so you have to put on the 10,000 grams and you'll see the lines go across and then it's going to show 10,000 it shows pass and then 10,000 so we've just calibrated the scale and if we take off the weights, the next step is to put the weight back on. And you'll see the scales right on the money. And we'll put two of them on. And you'll see the scales read in 10,000. So it's really right on the money. Now let's show you those two kilogram weights again. So if I put on the 2 kilogram weights, remember this read 2003, now it reads 2000.1, so it's right on the money, it's in the tolerance. Another 2000 is reading 4000 exactly, another 2000 is reading 6000.1, another 2000 is reading 8000.1. Let me just show you something about the scale which is an issue we've seen before. If you go into the calibration and you use the wrong cal weight or you don't put the weights on quick enough, what will happen is the scale will store whatever weight you have on there as 10,000 grams. So it's flashing 10,000 and I'll just show you. We'll put 4 kilograms on the scale. The lines will go across, it shows pass, so it's accepted 4,000 grams as 10 kg. I remove the weights from the platform, and now if I put on 2,000 grams, it's going to show up as 4,995 grams or 5,000 grams, another 2,000 grams, it's showing as 9,998.6. If I throw in another 2,000 grams, it's going to show overload thinking that we have 10,000 grams on there, but we don't. We only have 4,000 grams. So you have to have the right calibration weights because if you go into this cal mode and you end up putting on any weight whatsoever, it's going to store it as that value. Let's do the calibration again. This time, I'm going to use 500 grams. It's showing, give me 10,000. I'm going to put 500 grams on the scale. 
the balance is actually accepted 500 grams <clears throat> as 10 kg. So now if I put on the 500 grams, it's showing it as 9,998.4. So it's a big, big issue that if anybody ever goes into this balance and does the calibration and they don't have the calibration weights, the balance is going to be off. And someone will say, well, the balance is defective. It's not defective. It needs to be calibrated. So we highly recommend that you have the calibration weights to perform the cal. And now we'll simply do the calibration again for you using the right weights. So press the cal button. Shows cal. The lines go across and says put on 10,000 grams. We'll put on two 5 kilogram weights. The lines come across. Then it says pass. And then it shows 10,000. Remove the weights. The lines go across. It goes to zero, zero. Put on 5 kilograms. Reads 5,000. Put on another 5,000 grams. Reads 9,999.7. We'll just do the calibration just one more time. Sometimes you'll need to calibrate the scale twice. So it shows cal. The lines go across. Place 10 kilograms on the scale. Shows pass. Shows 10,000. Remove the weights, show zero, zero, there's 5,000, there's another 5,000, there it is, shows 10,000 right on the money. So, highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy these calibration weights if you don't have them. If you do have the calibration weights, just make sure you have 10 kilograms. Um, some other nice features about this scale, we have a stainless steel platform that is removable for easy cleaning. Uh, the scale operates off of AC adapter. It comes standard with that. It also has an internal uh, battery, so it can run on battery power. And the scale, if you turn it in beh from behind, the scale actually has a dual display. I need to plug this in because I did not um, take off the connector on the battery so it starts charging it. So if you turn on the scale, you'll see you have a nice display on the rear. This would be ideal for any kind of school. If a teacher was to use the balance for demonstration, the people could see what they're actually weighing. Um, the balance does have a um, Nike, no, I'm sorry, lead acid battery on the bottom of the scale. You need to open up this cover and put on the terminal so it will charge it. So that's why the scale was not running off of batteries. There is four adjustable feet. There's also a little hole right here that someone could put a lock through it. So this is the MyWay I1100. I'm sorry, MyWay I11000. This offers 11,000 grams by a tenth of a gram readability. There is also on this scale an RS-232 interface. Uh, we will not support any questions on it. The manual is very, very brief for what it offers for information on the RS-232. We have the manual right here. And if you look, <clears throat> all you have for RS-232 information is this one little section right here where the baud rate is 2400. I don't believe it's uh, user selectable. Uh, also, there's no way to change the parity bits, etc. So, it does have an RS-232, but we cannot support it. Um, I would not recommend this balance if you plan on tying it to a computer because unless you're very good with uh, RS-232, hyperterminal, etc., uh, that would be completely your responsibility for hooking up that scale. So the manual is very, very limited. But again, consider the price that you're paying. So this is the MyWay manual. You can see it's very brief. There's not much to it. There's uh, five pages all together. Um, 
This scale is sold to people that are looking for a low cost scale that could offer 10,000 or 11,000 grams by a tenth of a gram. And again, consider what you're paying. If you wanted to buy a, a Sartorius, we'll say, CPA 10,001, it's going to cost you over $2,000. If you wanted to buy a A&D GP series, a GP12K, which is 12000 by a tenth, much, much, much higher quality, it's going to cost you over $2,000 for that unit. Consider what you're paying for this scale, and I mean, again, for people with limited funds, it's, it's a good scale, providing you buy those calibration weights. You really have to calibrate the scale. Um, every single unit we've seen, uh, basically they're off by either 30 or 40 divisions. The reason being, these scales are manufactured in China. Uh, they do their calibration over there in China, and everywhere in the world is a different magnetic north. Also, scales, once you start using them, the load cell fatigues, you need to calibrate the scale. So, it's an affordable scale with a caveat. Make sure you buy the calibration weight and understand that what you're paying for, you know, this is not a $2,000 balance. This is a balance for people that cannot afford a $2,000 balance, need 11,000 grams by a tenth of a gram. Value-wise, even buying the calibration weights, it's a spectacular value for, you know, considering all the factors. Uh, we sell this at balances.com. We have precision weigh-in balances. We've been an authorized MyWay dealer since MyWay began. We've been in business since 1995. So visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We have these balances in stock. And again, we are an authorized dealer. And we are there to fill these orders right away, maintain an inventory. There's no drop shipping or anything. We have these balances in stock. Thank you.